seat in this section. Did you hear it? Dude, that's it. Click, click. Yes, sir. So easier to put on than actually take the old one off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very much so. Yeah, I'll clean it. That's the lamination. Yeah. Hang it over. And then you just roll it up and down, make sure she sure she sure. operates right. On the track. Yeah. The bad thing is that I hate about those, those that nipple thing. And it's so hard to find help now, man. Nobody wants to work. Yeah, you're right about that. And nobody wants to work. I'm sure you guys are experiencing the same thing. Oh yeah. Why work when you can make money sitting at home nowadays? Yeah, you're right about that. First time I did one of these, when the body stock came out, I was like, what in the world? Where are all the bolts at? You know, because you hate taking this kind of stuff off. Sure. Because if you're looking at that, that looks like it could come off, right? Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So you start picking at it and prying it, and you know, like it could come off, but it don't it, need to. It come doesn't, off. yeah. And uh, you know, so you start looking at things, and you start trying to poke and pry. And the first time I saw one of these, and finally figured it out. I didn't think they were going to stack bolt on bolt right in the middle of the door. But once you got it figured out. This job generally takes. Is there a huge difference between a couple of the bigger factory manufacturers? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the way they put things in like this, a lot of manufacturers will start copying each other. Let's just say the foreign And they cars, all copy Ford. Yeah, I'm just saying. something. <laughs> Look, when they started doing the uh, the cows that snap in on a retainer on the winch and all cars do it, but most cars are, are doing that now. Yeah. It's aggravating because you don't have underneath, anything underneath the windshield to push to snap that into the retainer so sometimes you can't get it back in there you know mm. and it's aggravating because you're like there's just no other way to get under it or push it or you know sandwich it in there so um so which one you would say would be the easiest even though like you said they all just copy the newer chevys are generally easier for windshields mm -hmm. All door glasses are somewhat about the same. About the same, yeah. Uh, you got some of the older cars. You don't want to touch them. <laughs> like, uh, Ford was the worst at riveting door glasses in. Fords always make sure, you know, it holds it like down to keep it from coming up. Ah. So that's why I thought it was going to be a lift door. And a lot of times you look for that in Fords, especially. Uh, because it'll fool you. You'll start trying to yank on the door, trying to pop the, the fangs. And sometimes you can bend the door back and look for um, look for how it's in there. Yeah, you were right. It, it almost looks like it's tinted. I guess because the rest is tinted, mm -hmm. it blends in. Yep. Yeah, look at that. It's odd. It's, that is it, bizarre. It looks like it has like a mild window tint. So if you look right there, I had a little ding and this happened right shortly after I bought Tiny. And it's always like that, right? It happens when you buy a new truck. But it never stretched or anything and it's not really in the in the way of preventing me from driving. And it's always stayed that way. So I figured while my buddy's here, if he's willing to just see if he can fill that in for me. I've never seen this done before neither. This is new. Right. So what is that? Just puts pressure on it, or mm -hmm. this is gonna be the uh, you pressing? This is gonna be the uh, it's called the bridge. Uh huh. Yeah. And that squeezes it in, or yeah, it's already filled in. Strong smell. Yes. Very strong smell. Very. How long usually do you want to let it sit? Sometimes, like this one, it filled in quickly. Mm -hmm. But I gotta go through at least one vacuum stage so that way I can pull out any air that's in there So that way what happens when you pull that vacuum it replaces the air with the resin So uh -huh. it sucks the air out fills it with resin and then what I'll do is cap it and cure it uh, here A little bit to the acrylic. So there's a little process to it and when I'm done mm -hmm. It may fill in if I do another cycle or you might still see that little crest right here but okay. that's that's what we call like a like a shadow like the refraction of the glass yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it's what's okay. doing is refracting if it looks anything better than what it was i mean i'm oh, i'm yeah. cool with it i'll let it sit on the vacuum cycle for a few minutes i'll just do one more pressure cycle pressure cycle here in a little bit just to make sure that things really in there you know, yeah uh, it's packed in with the resin 
and then I'll cap it. So when it comes to windshield and, and replacing, I noticed that some have the molding and some don't. Why do you think that is? Certain brands, you know, uh, mm -hmm. they dictate from the factory what, what it does and doesn't have. Uh, some vehicles, the same vehicles actually can have, you know, some and some can be an optional of not. Uh, for instance, like the Ford Edges, you mm -hmm. know, some of them come with, you know, side molding, some don't. Right. It's just it's just an optional thing. Because I notice here there is siding, mm -hmm. but nothing yeah. on the top. And usually on all Fords right here, you know, you'll see that. You'll see the side moldings, and they just keep an open reveal at the top. Interesting. And, uh, like like you know, um, you know some cars like BMW, you know, uh -huh. they, they shouldn't have molding on them. Uh, all BMWs have them. Pretty much. Well, most somewhat. Yeah, the... it depends on your make and model. Sure. Uh, to my knowledge, I think all of them have it, uh, but over a certain amount of time they end up you know crumbling and almost turn into like a like a like a crown material and a lot of people don't have an issue with their windshield but they want the molding replaced and unfortunately you have to have the windshield out because the molding goes on the windshield oh. you know so it's a big aggravation you know uh cows some cows you know with this rubber uh -huh. you know, some manufacturers just just such as bmw you know they start crumbling let's cut you off look at that turtle on the road <laughs> Holy moly! <laughs> no, that's just not no box turtle. That's a that's an ancient turtle. There. I want to go look at that. Dang! Sorry. And it definitely came from my yard. <laughs> I mean, he's not bashful either. That's the weird thing. Yeah. That's weird to he have just, his head still stick out. He just tucked his tail in. You got a pond nearby? Well, I'm, usually a pond gets created over there from the rain, so maybe this that's why. Look at it. There he goes, minding his own little business. See you later, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> so as you were saying, BMWs are the worst at that? Uh, yeah, I mean, you got other manufacturers over time that you know, you'll start seeing you know rot or deterioration of of trim piece moldings you uh -huh. know uh, and most of the reason is just sun deterioration i mean it's um that's what it boils down to now what is this it's a mylar pad mm -hmm. so what i'm about to do is cure it with the uv light uh -huh. to make it the acrylic ah. so it'll turn in turn from a liquid to a uh, like a acrylic Flash. very cool very interesting so the side windows, you know, the door windows, mm -hmm. they're not, they don't break like the old days, right? They're kind of the same as the windshield. Well, that's not in all vehicles. Now, okay. um, you know, you'll still like see. Like my window, you saw the crack it had. Mm -hmm. It wasn't going to just shatter, was it? Some, no. Okay. Some higher end vehicles will have laminated in it. And that originated, you know, in some of the older vehicles, actually, believe it or not, had lamy in it. Uh, for northern states that you know have muggings and carjacking and stuff it slowed down you know people and most of the higher end cars now you'll see laminated door glasses okay. um and typically it just be in the two front you know and then the windshield okay and then i believe on this truck you also have the option um of tempered and or lammy you know so or sometimes you could just have just you know it can only take one or the other gotcha you know, so. gotcha Oh, there it is. Then I'm gonna put another cure on it for the pit. Definitely much better. I mean, I still see that little spot there. Oh yeah, you will. You'll ten times that. better than what it was. All this is is a little bit thicker. Uh, Agent, now I'm gonna cure that fills that pit because there's a little bit that pit that I made with drilling with the it. Drill in it. Yeah. Yep, it fills that in so that way it'll be you know a smooth nice surface, smooth, it doesn't yeah. destroy your wiper blade or anything like that. Yeah, because I just bought these. Yeah, <laughs> 60 freaking dollars. Oh, yeah, man, they got unbelievable. They've gotten ridiculous with uh, 60 bucks for wiper blades. Well, that's like my wife last night, you know. Uh, I see see a charge for $74 and I said what what all did you buy at the store the other night and she said oh I just bought laundry soap and a couple packs of batteries so I said 75 bucks that, that's 75 bucks though what what else did you buy <laughs> and she's like that's it batteries and laundry soap babe I'm, I'm serious I was like 
That's insane. There's man. no way. And she found the receipt and showed me. I'm like, I know, I, dude. Everything is just in. And then uh, you know, certain customers complain when we go up on prices, whether it be windows or lawn care. Yeah. Or, yeah. You know, yeah. you go up five, ten bucks on on them. You know, because everything else is going mm -hmm. up, and they just don't understand. There's a guy that we do currently. He's a multimillionaire, and we've had to go up on prices for some of his vehicles and you know he wasn't having it and we we're like well you know there's no uh no option man you know I, we've got to pay for it so do you, you know it goes down the pipeline yeah i'm not gonna be stuck holding the bag That's what I would call a good repair. What's up, ninjas? What is up on this thirsty Thursday? Man, has it been a thirsty Thursday? So what I really wanted to conclude this video and just say, as lawn care guys in this business, you know, things can always go wrong and things can always happen. Accidents happen all the time. But one of the most common things that can happen is, because we do work with a lot of, of course, a mower can shoot out a rock, but when you're trimming and edging especially, it's one of the most common things that can happen is you'll shoot a, a rock and break somebody's window, whether it be a house uh, window or a car window, or whether it will be um, an outside front door, right, glass door, things like that. And so as a lawn care professional, if you are not connected with a glass company, you need to get yourself a glass guy. Because my thing is when I break somebody's window, car, house, doesn't matter, you know, I don't want to be like scrambling, who do I call? I already got the guy. Uh, I immediately inform the customer what happened, assure them that I'll take care of it, no worries, they, nothing they have to do. And my guy is really good, man. He literally, I mean, er, there was, I think, one time we had to, like, wait a couple of days, but that's ever since all this situation going on in the world, right? I mean, things were taking a little while, and I think this particular window he had to order. But any other time before, I mean, literally the next day, he will be at their house taking care of it. He doesn't build them. He doesn't really have anything to do with them. I mean, of course, you know, they'll open the door for them and for him or, you know, whatever, car or house. And then, you know, he takes care of it and leaves and then i just take care of the bill if your if your bill is a lot smaller than your deductible on your insurance it just makes sense for you to pay the bill but if you break a huge window like at a big office or something where it's a couple thousand dollars then i'd say you need to have insurance for that and and then you just i would still pay your glass guy and then you just put that you know turn that in and make a claim with your insurance I would love to talk about it in this video, Ninjas, but I think I've recorded already enough. I got plenty of action for you, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want this video, I think it's already going to be as long as it is. I don't want it to turn into too long. But in the next video or two, whenever I have some time, we're going to talk about insurance. We're going to talk about what I would recommend. We're going to talk about what you can expect. We're going to talk about audits, because if you have insurance, you're going to get audited. And, uh, you know, we're, so we're going to get into that, but any small little windows, you know, anything like 100, 200, 300 dollars, whatever, I usually just take care of the bill. And as you guys saw, he hooked me up on the windshield, took care of that for me, so much appreciated. Window looks good, and hopefully it'll never happen again. But there's one more thing I wanna show you before I let you ninjas go. So I've been talking to a company that makes air fresheners. That's right, ninjas, air fresheners. You know, the ones that you kinda hang up in here, you know, make your truck or car smelly, smelly really nicely. So I got a couple of them that came in and they, can you smell it? Even just in the box? Oh my goodness, they smell so good. What's cool about, now you're thinking, but Nick, why are you telling us this is just air fresheners? So they're not just any air fresheners. This is really cool. I think you ninjas are really gonna enjoy this and I'm gonna, you know, that's why I'm sharing this with you. But one cool about this company is they want in on the 50,000 subscriber giveaway. So when we do hit the 50,000 subscribers, we're gonna do up to five giveaways on these and it can be whatever the winners want it to be. And what do I mean by that? Well, check this out. So what's cool about this company is you can literally send them any picture that you want 
and they'll turn it into a car freshener. So if you look right here, and it's on both sides, tiny. And as you can see, you know, you got your little rope right here, whatever, you know, you can just hang it. But, and they smell, oh my gosh, they smell so good. So this is tiny. Isn't that cool? I mean, that's just freaking amazing. So if you really wanted to send them a picture of a selfie or a picture of your vehicle, truck, mower, whatever, literally, whatever, right? Maybe it's a selfie with you and your girlfriend, you and your wife, maybe it's your kids, whatever. You send that to them and they'll make a car fresh, car, you know, air freshener. So that was in this one. And then in this one, they sent me a couple others. Really cool company to work with. They've been really nice. Uh, I appreciate them wanting to be part of the 50,000 subscriber giveaway. Now these are, they just sent these to me, uh, but you know, we're gonna have five winners or they're doing it up to five winners, okay? Cause I told them, I'm not sure how many winners we're gonna have. We could probably have, I told them minimum five, maximum probably 10. Cause I think I wanna have multiple winners instead of just one winner. And uh, you know, cause it's, that way multiple people benefit from this giveaway instead of just one person. But so here's a little ninja ordeal, right? That's pretty cool. The ninja face. The ninja mower, of course, right? Pretty freaking cool, man. And if you guys who have been using any of these air fresheners, you know these things last for a while. They last for a while. So here's just SG Ninjas right there. So it's really sweet, man. And then uh, here's another one of Tiny from a different angle, like from the bed to the front. <laughs> The other one, I think, was uh, the tiny was facing this way. Which way? That way? This way? Eh, whatever. And then the SG Ninjas mower. The big booty! Man, look at that stance. Look at that stance. Both sides. So anyway, if you are wondering what company this is, this is a company called Custom Fresh. Okay, Custom Fresh. And if you Google Custom Fresh, you'll pull it right up on their website. Or if you want to just go to their Instagram to custom fresh You can chit chat with them message them. They're pretty quick to respond So I just want to take this time to say custom fresh. Thank you so much for sending those out to me, man They are awesome ninjas. If you don't have a glass guy get yourself a glass guy you know sometimes To make money you'll have you know accidents happen you got to spend some money, you know But it's important to have those connections so you that way take care of your customer instantly right then and there I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope uh, it's helped some of you, you know for whatever the case may be I know some of you ninjas out there might be uh, car guys, you know truck guys, you know You might be into that business and as you've heard the professional glass guy explain to you one of the worst manufacturers when it comes to windshields or the hardest to change glass or windshields in particular was i think he said bmws in general or when it comes to at least the uh, edges and the seals but other than that i hope you enjoyed ninjas thank you for tuning in for another one hope everyone has a good safe weekend and we will definitely have a couple of videos before this weekend and we'll go over some of the topics that i just mentioned to you earlier earlier I gotta go. Take care. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you on the Saving Green. Next one. Peace. Saving Green. Eat a tea. <laughs>